All right, so flu season is here, and it's not just humans getting hit with the sniffles this winter. Cases of canine influenza are on the rise as well, causing a lot of concern among veterinary experts and pet owners alike. Some of the symptoms pet owners should be on the lookout for include a dry cough, a runny nose, and just like in humans, dogs will run a fever when they have the flu. I love the picture there. We're joined now by Stephen Cole. He's a veterinary microbiologist from the University of Pennsylvania. How can we really tell when your pet symptoms are serious, serious enough to require a visit to the vet? I know with my dog, Remy, she's got a short nose anyway, so she's always sniffling. So what's the <laughs> barometer here? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, when it comes to uh, dogs that are sick enough to be seen by a veterinarian, we're really going to be looking for changes in their behavior. Are they acting uh, listless or lethargic or not wanting to eat? I know that's really abnormal for my dogs. And then in addition, keeping a close eye on their respiratory rate. Are they breathing faster? And the respiratory effort, are they needing to take deeper breaths to catch their breath? Okay, here's a question that literally just was uh, expressed in my household today. Can pets catch the flu or other diseases like COVID from their owners and vice versa? Can we catch these things from our pets? Yeah, so it's going to vary from disease to disease. Um, we definitely know that COVID-19 has been reported to spread from um, people to their pets for sure. Uh, and when it comes to influenza, it's less likely um, it's been not reported, especially with this canine influenza that we're seeing. There's never been a report of canine influenza moving into people, but the risk isn't absolutely zero. So it's always uh, important to be prudent. All right then, Stephen, so what to do then? What's, what's the best advice for us pet owners uh, as far as how you can prevent this and maybe you know treat your pet if they do have the doggy sniffles? Yes, absolutely. Uh, when it comes to canine influenza in particular, it tends to hit certain regions in larger outbreaks. So if there is spread within your region, uh, one of the best things you can do is keep your dog away from congregate settings, right? So making sure they're not maybe skipping day doggy daycare that day, avoiding the dog park, um, and uh, limiting themselves to their homes. Um, the other option with canine influenza, are there are flu vaccines available. Those flu vaccines have been um, on short supply recently, so it's really important that you reach out to your veterinarian to see if it's available to them in the first place. Uh, and then really what's most important is keeping a close eye on our pets to make sure that they're doing okay and seeking out veterinary care whenever uh, they need it. So much good information. Stephen Cole, thank yeah. you. Thanks, Stephen.